Hey, it's Jill and this video is going to be another reading vlog. I'm going to be reading Good Girl Complex by Elle Kennedy. This is the first book that I'm going to be reading from her and I know she has a pretty popular series. I can't remember, I can't think of what it's called right now. But this one's about a girl named Mac and she goes to a beachside town of Avalon Bay and she meets a bad boy and then that is... I'm assuming they're going to end up together, but I am excited to read this. I think it came out kind of recently too. Okay, so we have Cooper's point of view first, and I think that he is a bartender. Okay, so the town that he's in, I guess there's a bunch of really rich students that attend this bar from the school Garnet College, and he's kind of like making fun of them and being like, oh, like all of daddy's money, blah, blah, blah. Okay, Cooper has a twin brother named Evan. So one of the guys at the bar are being really disrespectful and like being handsy with the one of his coworkers. So then he punches him <laughs> and they're in a fight or whatever. This guy's so gross. He's like, my dad's bank owns half the buildings in this boardwalk. One word for me and your life gets real complicated. And then he's talking to the owner of the bar saying, Either you handle this or I pick up the phone and call my father to do it for you. I know it's late, but don't you worry. He'll be awake. He's a night owl. That's how he made all his billions. Like, ew. Who says that? Because he wants Cooper fired, obviously, for punching him in the face. But he deserved it, so. Okay, I think the owner of the bar is actually going to maybe fire him for this. Because he's like, well, I can't have my family suffer because of this. And um, I can't have this guy's dad like ruin my life, essentially. And he's like, okay, like, there's not much he can do. Chapter 2 is Mackenzie's point of view and I think she's going to be going to Garnet College and she is meeting her roommate for the first time and she just had a gap year. She said that she was running a business so actually it says in the back of the book that she has a business. She says she has a boyfriend and she's like meh, he's fine but like whatever. Ew. Okay so it is Preston that tried, that got him fired and that was in the fight with Cooper. This guy is not going to be happy if Cooper and Mackenzie get together, which I'm sure they will. It's a few days later now and I'm here with Cookie. I am going to read again. So I think I'm on chapter three. It's Cooper's point of view. I feel like I'm kind of getting Outer Banks vibes from this. Like there's my fridge is making noises. There's the rich kids who are all bratty and spoiled, whatever, and then the kids who aren't as rich, like, don't like them and they don't like each other, blah, blah, blah. So they're at a party and Cooper's friends are creeping on Preston, looking at his social media and everything, and they see Mackenzie, and they're like, oh, you should try to steal his girlfriend from him. And because he's like, well, I can't get him fired from anywhere because he doesn't work, blah, blah, blah. So I guess he's going to, okay, so what I'm thinking is going to happen is that he's going to try to win Mackenzie over and then they will actually start to have a real connection and it will be kind of like after, I haven't read that book but I saw the movie and then she'll find out that he only did it because his friends told him to to get back at Preston and then she'll be like, oh my gosh, like I can't believe you did this and he's like, no, but like now the feelings are real, blah, blah, blah. That's what I think is going to happen. And I guess there's a few rules to this. So the one friend is saying you can't lie. You can't pretend to be all in love with her. And you can't tell her to break up with him. It has to be her idea. So Max's roommate Bonnie knows of Cooper and his brother Evan. She's like, rumor has it that Avalon Bay's got exactly what I need. The Hartley twins. Okay, so they're meeting for the first time. And Bonnie wants to meet the twins, obviously. And Mackenzie is by herself at the table. So I feel like when Bonnie comes back, she's just going to be so shocked that she's talking to Cooper. I really hope that she doesn't end up cheating because I do not like that trope I guess um, I just think she should break up with Cooper sorry she should break up with Preston before she does anything with Cooper because I'm just gonna be so turned off by her if she ends up cheating on him so Mackenzie Bonnie and the brothers are going to go to an after party I think at their place or something and it seems like she's pretty infatuated with him so I don't think it will be hard for him to make her fall for him and I just want her to break up with Preston because the thoughts that she has and stuff She's like for some reason I'm not responding to Evan. I'm only just responding to Cooper like Just dump Preston, please. So it's the next day for me and They agreed to be friends and she's like this is probably a bad idea because I think he's cute, whatever Mackenzie was by his construction site where he was working because he works in construction there was a puppy that they rescued from the water and now she's at his house like trying to clean up because they were just like 
in the water saving this puppy they kind of opened up to each other Mackenzie's saying how she kind of feels trapped because she's being forced to do things that she doesn't really want to like going to school because she has her business already but I feel like if you're making an agreement with someone to be strictly friends he keeps like going past that boundary and saying like oh I want to kiss you or like things like that which I obviously isn't more than friends but it seems a little bit strange to me that she's okay with this especially she said to Bonnie how she's the type that like why would you cheat like you should just break up with your boyfriend so you don't have to cheat and now she's like borderline doing that so okay super short story time but I was taking cookie for a walk and I didn't realize until like pretty much like we were home that I didn't have my phone in my pocket and I was confused because I was listening to a podcast and then Taylor Swift for like the whole time until the very end I noticed that it was kind of going out with my airpods or whatever and I was like oh I guess the connection is just bad nope I lost my phone so then I was freaking out I went back to trace my steps so we pretty much walked like the whole walk halfway again and I didn't see it on the ground or anything I'm like looking in the grass we didn't see anything so then I'm like okay well the only thing I have to do then is go on my laptop and look on find my iphone or whatever so then i run back home i'm literally sweating i'm wearing this sweater and it's so hot it's not that hot it's like 20 something but i was like sweating so then i go and look at my laptop to see where it is and it's at a school near me and i'm like okay perfect i put cookie in her crate with some water and food whatever i was literally gonna run to the school and then i realized it's kind of far so i'm like okay i'm just gonna drive so then i get there and it's at the school the person was like oh yeah it's in here like you all good. So luck was on my side today. So back to the book, Mac and Cooper are at, it seems like it's a festival, boardwalk festival. I love a carnival scene, so I'm excited to see what happens here. I actually kind of like them together. They argue a lot, which is kind of entertaining to read. So they just kissed on this ride and I'm kind of confused. Like the ride, it seems like, I don't know if it's a roller coaster or something, but like how can you kiss when you're like going? But anyway, they kiss and he's like so happy. We don't see her point of view yet, but he's really ecstatic. Obviously, he likes her. Okay, so they kissed again at the house, and Heidi comes out, and she's like, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt anything. I have a feeling Heidi's gonna be the one to tell Mackenzie that Cooper is doing this all for a bet, so, because I think she's gonna be kind of jealous since she, it seems like she kind of likes him. Oh no, Heidi is now saying to the whole group of friends, being like, so how are you gonna dump her now? I can't wait till you dump her. Like, I can't wait to see her and her boyfriend's face when it happens, you should do it in public, blah, blah, blah. Like, she just does not like Mackenzie, clearly. And now he's thinking to himself how he actually genuinely likes her and that there's something real between them. She just told him that she kissed Cooper, which I didn't even think that she was gonna tell him. She didn't say it was Cooper, but she said it was a townie and assumed that they didn't know each other because I guess she obviously doesn't know what happened at the start of the book. But um, he literally isn't mad at all, which is super weird. And afterwards, she sent a goodbye text to Cooper that she can't see him anymore. And Cooper's like, is that what you really want? And she says, yes, goodbye. Ew, okay, so she just bought a hotel because she really loves the the like rundown hotel that is in the town or whatever. And she's telling Preston, he's like, what did you just do? You're so irresponsible. And we had a plan we were supposed to. I was supposed to graduate first, take over my dad's bank, and you graduate, join the boards of your mom's foundations. And you agreed I'd be the breadwinner in the relationship while you focused on charity work and raising our family. And he's so condescending calling her website that's very, very successful a silly little, what does he call it? A silly little tech thing. And when she literally makes millions of dollars from it, like, and she's 20. Like, shut up. Yikes. So she had Cooper at the hotel to show him and then they kiss again and then she's like no no no, i can't and then he says to her how preston is cheating on her and has been for the past two years that everyone in the bay has seen him and then she's like no and then she slaps him preston mckenzie and her family is out for dinner and she just like is not having it anymore he says how Mackenzie's going to come with him to Atlanta. She's going to do online school to finish up her degree. And she literally never even was told about this plan. So she leaves and then breaks up with him outside of the restaurant. And then is saying that there's someone else. And then says that she knows that he's cheating on her. And then he's like, what the heck? So they, she went to Cooper's house. They hooked up, whatever. And then the next morning, the brother, Evan, is like kind of rude to her. And she leaves and then Cooper's saying to Evan, like, what's your deal? Why are you being so rude? And Evan's like, okay, well, when are you gonna break up with her? You need to put her and Preston in the same room together in front of people and then dump her in front of everyone just to like make your point or whatever. That's what the bet was originally. I'm really happy that Mackenzie and Preston are done and I hope that they're actually done done and because I like her and Cooper together 
and i just hope that when it comes out that this whole thing was a plan and like a bet that she's not gonna be too pissed but i think they'll end up together in the end anyway right he is like really defending her to his friends they're all scheming trying to figure out a way to get mac and preston and everyone together so that he can dump her in front of everyone and then he's like look like now i'm i'm over it like this isn't i'm not doing this anymore okay and he can tell that heidi's kind of like what the heck and he said no one beats a word of this to mac ever and he's like warning heidi about this heidi is definitely going to be the one to tell mackenzie about this and he's going to be pissed maybe he's going to like cover off as a friend even i feel like that might happen it's going to be one of those situations i feel like when heidi's like oh does she know about like the little plan which obviously how you would know that she doesn't know it is the next day now and evan called mackenzie one night when he was drinking i think it's like a monday so that's weird she went to go help him and there are a bunch of frat guys that are bothering them and then the one guy is saying oh you're um preston kincaid's girlfriend does he know you're messing around with him and with this piece of poop no less and is saying women are trash like that's so ew but Cooper and Mackenzie are happy together, so I'm happy about that. I just don't want Preston to ruin everything or his frat people to ruin anything. So Mackenzie finally told him that she runs the website Boyfriend Fails and Girlfriend Fails. And I knew that he was going to react this way, being like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. But like, he did. And I love that he's so supportive compared to Preston, who was like, eh, you're silly little tech thing. Uh-oh. So she's having lunch with the girlies, Alana and... So they, oh, Steph. Steph says, honestly, I can't believe you were even dating that creep. And Mackenzie's like, oh, do you know Preston? She's like, what? Oh, no. I mean, I know of him because Cooper said that he cheated on people. And I'm assuming everyone that cheats is a creep. And Max having kind of the realization, like, something's going on. Like, they're not being completely honest about what's happening obviously okay what the heck she's going to get lunch with her parents and the dad is like here's what's going to happen you will apologize to preston and his parents for the episode after which they've agreed to the resumption of your relationship then you're coming home for the weekend which will evaluate how to proceed her parents are saying like okay and then you can like get back together with your ex she's like um no i can't do that and the mom said your father isn't giving you a choice mackenzie she's like i'm not getting back together with him and the mom says don't be a fool sweetheart that boy will make a loyal upstanding husband okay oh my gosh she literally writes a check for the amount that tuition or whatever would be at the school and then she's like this ought to cover what you spent for the first semester i've decided my interests lie elsewhere they are somewhere with their friends playing volleyball and then mackenzie like leaves and he doesn't realize cooper doesn't realize until like an hour passes and then he goes and looks in the distance and sees her with kincaid what's his first name preston and then he's like oh crap uh okay so it isn't heidi that outs him it's preston and he's saying he's only with you to get back at me because we got into a fight why is cooper lying to her mackenzie's like okay what's going on like why do you know him how do you know him and he's like everything i know about him i heard around town or from you okay so he was talking to evan and he's going to keep the secret from mackenzie which is a really bad idea i don't know why he's doing that he was saying oh i should tell her the truth i should tell her the truth like the next day it happened or whatever and then evan convinced him not to and then a few months pass, whatever, the mom comes into the picture, Evan and Cooper's mom. And she's like, oh my gosh, so happy to see you. She sucks. And she ends up leaving two days later. And then he wants to go get a present from Mackenzie. And he realizes that the mom literally stole his cash that he was saving under his bed. And it was like $12,000, which is a lot of money. And Mackenzie is like, what's wrong? Like, what happened? He tells her and she's like, okay, well, like, I can, like, replace the money for you. And now he's mad because he's like, I don't want your money. Do you even grasp how infantilizing it is to have your girlfriend constantly following you around with her purse open? And, okay, I get that he's, like, frustrated that his mom stole from him. Like, obviously, that's awful, but she's just trying to help. Like, so now it's their birthday party and she hears Heidi talking, like, in the as she's like walking by but like Heidi can't see her so I'm assuming what's going to happen is she's going to overhear Heidi being like well Cooper just talked to her because of this blah, blah, blah. Heidi's like I can forgive her for being dumb but she's so painfully boring and Cooper's no fun at all anymore all he wants to do is pretend they're married he hardly ever comes out anymore eventually she's got to figure out that he's been lying to her from the start that he only got with her as a means for revenge Alana goes, leave them alone. You promised to let it go. And Mackenzie's like, what the heck? Okay, so she knows that he lied now. 
and she's upset that he first of all lied in the first place and then lied when she confronted him directly about it yikes so it ends up being alana that tells her like yes it's true cooper lied and she and Mackenzie's thinking, Jeez, I am really dumb, they all have me fooled. Okay, so she literally throws beer in his face and is like, you're a lying a-hole. He says, yeah, I should have come clean a long time ago, but I was scared. I was scared of this moment right here. I made a terrible mistake and thought if you didn't find out, it wouldn't hurt you. I wanted to protect you. Okay, exactly. And she's like, you could have told me the truth months ago, especially when I asked you for the truth when they were together with Preston on the water or whatever. And he just like didn't tell her the truth so she says i'm going to the house and packing my stuff because i'm leaving and don't try to stop me he's like really upset i feel numb and empty but okay i'm sorry cooper you should have definitely told her like so so long ago like that was not smart of him to do that they've been together for six months and she doesn't know come on dude okay so he's been sending her gifts and presents for flowers whatever for weeks now and she just sends them back to him and levi the uncle is like you need to do something bigger like something more whatever she's the owner of the website boyfriend fails and everything so he made a boyfriend fail and was saying how he is the fail and saying how he's in love with her and that he pretty much like summing up the story that happened and she doesn't owe me a second chance but she doesn't owe me anything i'm still going to ask and then at the end he's like meet him at six on saturday to at the place where they rescued the dog daisy i think she'll definitely go right okay so i just finished and she met him and she took him back obviously and then she forgives him and all is well i wish there was a little bit after because i like seeing after of like what's going on or like sometime in the future when for example, if the hotel's up, like I'd want to see like how that's going and everything. But I still thought this book was good. I think it would be perfect for reading in the summertime or a beach read, pool read, whatever. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you've read Good Girl Complex, let me know what you thought of it in a comment down below. Also, give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more book content and vlogs. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.